Agreed. Anything else for us? Last question I have is, if I can unlock my phone, when did you find, what did you find is one of the biggest hurdles in the local comedy scene? Oh, we, be, be nice. The lack of an HR department. <laughs> Bars. Message. <laughs> HR department. Message. <laughs> Honestly, um, for me, um, I I can be very principled, and so without any, there, there's no oversight. There's no. I, I jokingly say there's no HR, right? But it's like everything is calculated. It's like you can hate something that a booker says, does, whatever, but like they're a big booker, so people kiss their ass just because they're a booker or they own a club or whatever. Um I am very principled, so there are certain things about people that I'm like, yeah, I'm not fucking with you. And if that means you're not going to book me, you know, and, and honestly, I've learned that from some comics. You know, Sam Miller has talked about it before. There are some people that you know, he, early on, he said some things and whatever, and he, he, he may never work with those people or at those places, but he's, he seems to be more or less okay with it. Mm-hmm. I think there's some things he would go back and maybe change, but listening to him talk about that, um, made me better okay with who I am. The other side of that is, um, uh, people are assholes to each other. You know, I have comics that hate on me for, they hate on me for starting the open mic collective, which is weird. Cause I'm like, I didn't, I, I don't make any money off of it unless I'm hosting the same way he would if he's hosting or any mm-hmm. other producer in the group is doing. I, I only made it to make more space for comics to get on stages. And I did it as a group. It's not Allison's Open Mic Collective. It's the Open Mic Collective. The collective part is that there's eight or nine of us that work together. And it's not the same eight or nine today that it was before, but it was only to build opportunity. So the fact that people hate on that, I don't understand. Um, and of course people say, oh, that's just jealousy. But why? That's dumb. It is like, dumb. That's, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, and I'll also say, and I, and I, I don't, I don't say this lightly, but there are a lot of, um, dudes in the scene that are inappropriate, say inappropriate things, are disrespectful. Um, not to say that women can't do the same thing, but you know, uh, Seeing how many comics, female comics have been talked to in disgusting ways and touched inappropriately. And, um, you know, if you're, if you're running a show and you make a joke about getting a blowjob from, you know, for a booking, it's not fucking funny. That's not a joke, you know, and it's, um, and there's no HR. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's no HR. So then, um, as the women talk to each other, then we get vilified for like, oh, all the bitches are talking to each other. Well, yeah, because we got to protect ourselves and tell, tell our, tell each other about you because you're a fucking creep. So, uh, it's, I think that's one of the, the, the interpersonal stuff can be really hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm also not a fake, uh, person at all. Mm-hmm. And I wonder how many people are fake with me because that's, there's a lot of people that I think are very inauthentic. Um, and I, I tend to, want to always see the best in people and um then I find out people have talked about me behind my back or said shit or you know and I, I just think it's weird uh you know I don't know I know that's that's a lot of words for one answer but you answered it there's a lot of hurdles there's a lot of hurdles and I think um I think it's every scene I don't think it's Seattle I think it's every scene from what I can tell um but the, I'm a Libra. I'm a triple Libra, sun, moon, rising. So everything I do is balanced. And the good is so much m- more than the bad. So even with all those hurdles, it's still one of the dopest things I've ever done. So I respect that. Oh. And fuck those bitches. Fuck them bitches. Robert? We were talking about hurdles? Yes. Hurdles? The, what do you feel like the biggest hurdles that you have come across in your time in comedy? Well, I'm not going to talk about the scene too much. I'm just going to talk about me personally. Yeah, you can talk about your personal hurdles. That's fine. Is, is finding the time to write in my own way, whatever that may be. Okay. Like, sometimes I like to write right, and sometimes I just like to write premises and then and then go test it out. But it's finding the balance of 
it's finding the balance of time to, to, yeah. I don't know. But, and I'm, I guess I also, with the scene, okay, well, I'll say this much. I'm still early comic, so it's finding those opportunities for the next level up. It's where I'm at. It's, it's I'm trying to take one more step up, and it's, it's being kind of difficult. I'm, like, blocked. I think I, if I can add, I think it's hard. I think part of the reason that I have some of those issues is because I have a strong personality and Mm -hmm. I'm a go-getter and I know that. I wish that um, some of the people that think they they knew me actually got to know me. You know, um, it hasn't been announced yet, but there's a a employee over at Nate's um, who has cancer. And... um, uh, like the moment that it came out that, 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 that she had cancer, I was like, well, let's put a show together. <laughs> let's put a fundraiser show together. And, uh, we got a tentative okay from Nate. And I think Nate's going to headline this show. And like within probably less than a month, maybe three weeks, we're going to have a show and we're going to try and raise some money for her. And I'm already like, okay, who can I hit up for a gift card to do a raffle? And like, I barely know that person. But like, that's really who, where my yeah. heart is. My heart is not where the fuck is Jojo? Why isn't he at my mic? It's, is Jojo safe? You know what I'm saying? And also, you know, please let me know where you are because you are supposed to be here. But more than that, are you safe? And I don't have to know you to, to use my skill set and my ability to put a show on, to put a show on for you because you have cancer and let's raise, you yeah. know, Three that's or four beautiful. thousand dollars could be two months of rent for you. That's you know, it could be a lot. So that's really who I am. That's who, where my heart is. Um, the open mic collective was for the community. It was right. never for me. Um, I'm included in that for sure. Do I benefit? Yes, but that it was never about me. If it was about me, I would run my own room every Tuesday night and that's my shit. I don't, I don't care about that. It's about all of us. And so I guess that's one of the, Rob is very likable and he fits in and he's nice. And sometimes he'll say, Oh, I was kicking it with these people. I'm like, Oh, those people never talk to me, you know? Um, and I know it's because I do have that strong personality, but it's who I am. Yeah. And, and, and I am who I am. I'm, Absolutely. I'm very likable. Absolutely. And, I, and, you know, I can, you know, people either love me or they hate me, but I yeah. wish the people that hated me could even articulate why they hate me. Right. A good reason. Cause right. uh, I, I have a huge heart, and if I and if I harm someone and they tell me, I also intimidate people a lot. I can't do anything about that. I don't know. I can you see know. that part though. Yeah, but it's really, not intentional. I was really intimidated by you, like the first couple of times you talked to me, but not in like a bad way. It was just like a oh damn, this is somebody's like mom. I don't want to like cuss in front. Like I don't know. It was just like really weird. I literally have a necklace that says "fuck" on it. By the way, but, fair enough. <laughs> no, but the, I get it. I get why people say that. In my whole life, I've tried to be less than. Mm-hmm. But I'm almost. I'm 44. I'm almost 45. Like I'm not trying to fit into anybody's box. I can also be accountable. So if I say some shit and it hurts you, send me a text, send me a message, talk to me face to face, however you're comfortable with it. I don't care if you send a pigeon to my crib with a little thing around his neck. Mm-hmm. Tell me what I did. Let me be accountable and let's move on. But like people don't like doing that, especially if they, they, they're intimidated by you, then they'll just stop talking to you. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, it hurts me more than people know. So it's like, those hurdles, I realize that some of those hurdles are because of my personality. Mm-hmm. But I also don't think there's a lot of people in this scene that really know me. So that's one of the reasons I think it's good for this podcast. Yeah. Is because we are very close and we know each other because we've known each other for, for years. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, you know, will allow people to get to know us differently, I guess. Yeah, very much so. And just hate on me more. 